Gold hits new highs again, while silver is seeing gains also this Monday. What are the charts telling us this first trading day and week of February? We have Jim Wyckoff joining us now. Jim, good to have you back on the show. Hello, Danielle. Always nice to be with you and uh, have our uh, Kitco listeners tune in. Absolutely. Well, it looks like it's a good start for gold. The metal is up 6% for the year. So the question is now, now what? Daniela, as we've seen gold rally, say around 6% so far this year, uh, the, the metals traders are looking to the stock market. And here on Monday, we're seeing the stock markets worldwide mostly lower. That is prompting some uh, asset flows out of the stocks and into the safe haven gold market. As long as that, uh, as long as the stock markets continue to see pressure, I think uh, gold will continue to trend sideways to higher. Importantly, uh, the gold market bulls have also gained technical mo momentum. Prices are in a uh, six-week-old uptrend on the daily chart, so they're starting to build on uh, some chart-based buying interest, and that's helping drive prices higher too. And the fact that uh, you know uh, the dollar index is weaker on this uh, first day of the trading week, that's also augering well pushing gold uh, to a three-month high. Well, it's going to be a big week. We have jobs numbers coming out on Friday. We have some key companies reporting earnings this week. So what will you be paying attention to? Daniela, it's very important for, for gold and silver traders to continue to watch the world stock markets. Uh, the uh, gold and silver markets have tended to trade, especially gold, trade in an opposite fashion to the trend of the stock market. So if we continue to see some weakness in the stock market, uh, in the U.S. and worldwide, then I think you're going to continue to see upside price action in the uh, gold market. Now, to extrapolate even further, on many days when the stock markets are weaker, uh, crude oil prices are all, all also weaker. So uh, the, the stock market has been closely following the crude oil market. Jim, on that note, let's get to your market rating for gold and silver this week. What's it going to be? Daniela, I'm giving a white cost market rating for uh, April Comex Gold, a reading of 4.0. That's still a little bit in the bearish camp, but the best reading we've seen in, in a few months. Uh, the, the momentum is uh, to the upside, so by the next time we speak, we could have a reading uh, five or above, which would be uh, moving into the bullish camp. Looking at March silver, white cost market rating of 3.0. Uh, silver just kind of sideways and choppy, which does hint of some basing action that could uh, indeed put in a market bottom soon, if not if not already there. Uh, technical support or technical resistance for uh, April gold is at 1150. Solid technical support at 1100. Uh, March silver sees solid resistance at 1464. That's the December high. Solid support at the contract low of 1362. All right, Jim, I, finally, I need to ask you, I know you're based in Iowa, so what's the energy like there with the big caucus coming up tonight? Well, Danielle, it's, it's exciting for many here in Iowa. To There have been a lot of issues discussed. A lot of the candidates are here in this state. But for a lot of people, uh, also including me, we're going we're gonna to be kind of glad when this is all over with because of the, all the commercials have just been inundating us uh, with uh, political news and accusations and such. So it's going to be kind of nice to get back to normal here a little bit uh, starting Tuesday. Also, we've got a big blizzard that's uh, going to hit the state tomorrow. So all the candidates and all the reporters need to get out of town in a hurry. All right, Jim. Well, stay warm and stay safe. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Daniela. Bye-bye. And thanks for watching this edition of Kitco's Gold Report. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.